Hey everyone, in this Riemann sum problem, we are given the function f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x plus 1. We are asked to find the minimum number of subintervals that allow us to approximate the definite integral from minus 1 to 2 using Riemann sums such that we achieve a maximum error of 0 0.01. Take a minute now and try to solve this problem on your own before we go through the solution together. In our previous video, we developed the following equation for monotonically increasing functions with equal step sizes, meaning all of our subintervals will be of equal sizing, and our function from our lowest integral bound to our upper integral bound are going to always be increasing. We also have these equations if our function is monotonically decreasing as well. So, let's quickly draw out our function and see what it looks like. As you can see, Within our integral bounds, our function is always increasing, and therefore we will use this set of equations to solve our problem. Let's identify which of these variables we have and the ones that we are trying to find. As we are looking for a number of intervals, we should break down our step size variable to include a term that has our number of steps. The step size we take is going to be our distance, b minus a, over the number of steps, n and this is the variable we are trying to find. We have our desired maximum error, and that's going to be 0 0.01. That was given in the problem statement. Our f of b and f of a can both easily be found through plugging in the inputs of our lower and upper integral bounds to the original function. This results in 17 and minus 4, respectively, as you can see here. Lastly, our n term is our unknown and our desired variable. This means that we have only one missing value in one equation. This means that we have zero degrees of freedom and our system is able to be solved. Let's now rearrange this inequality for a number of steps. I'm just going to go through step by step to ensure there is minimal confusion. Now that we have our equation solving for our number of steps, we can plug in all of our known values and see that it'll take 6300 steps to guarantee a solution accuracy of 0.01 or better. If we assume a slightly less accurate goal of say 0.05, the number of steps required reduces greatly to 1260 steps. This just further validates the trade-off between accuracy of a solution and the amount of work required to achieve that solution. I hope that this video helped you understand how we can find the minimum number of steps to achieve a given level of accuracy using the Riemann sums. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.